Hello and welcome to a stormy day in Stratford-upon-Avon and we're going to have a little virtual tour of narrowboat Lyrebird. So uh, we've got a little break from the thunder so let's go aboard. Take my shoes off. Okay. And here we are on board Lyrebird. As you can see, it's a half oak interior with the white cabin sides. I think for a for an all porthole boat, it means that uh, it's a lot brighter than uh, solid wood, solid hardwood oak. So there's a lot of a lot of solid oak. The panels themselves are oak lined ply, but then all trimmed with solid oak. The steps are solid oak and most of the surfaces are black granite uh, with some oak as well. Now I don't know whether you can tell from the video but the interior is very very um, fresh and as new. The, 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 the interior was built five years ago but it's been regularly maintained, uh, lots added, lots of stuff is new and uh, over the last couple of months the whole thing has been refinished. Uh, all the varnish has been sanded down and refinished and really you'd be hard pushed to tell the difference between this and when it was, was brand new. Uh, very very fresh. So I'll just talk you through what where we come down here. So this is the main entrance. It obviously it's a uh, semi-traditional stern, which means this is very much the uh, the social end of the boat. And uh, coming down here is obviously reverse layout again, continuing that kind of social side of the boat. Whereas the bedroom and more private areas is uh, at, at the front, the other side. So as you come down the steps, here we have two cupboards. We have the electrics cupboard on the right. Um, there's a Sterling inverter charger. Uh, that's a pure sine wave 100 and, sorry, 1500 pure sine. Um, Sterling alternator battery charger, absolutely wonderful piece of kit for when you're out on the cut. Charges batteries a lot, lot faster. There's a, a solar panel charger and uh, all, Basto, all the fuses, etc. And then on the left hand side as you come in, this is the hot water. So there we've got our hot water tank. Now we never actually got round to this, but this would make a pretty good uh, airing cupboard as well, um, because it's generally fairly hot in there, especially when you're cruising because of the amount of uh, hot water being generated in this cupboard always would be a very good drying area. And uh, down at the bottom here, getting focused, there we are, um, as a, the bottom access to the same cupboard. Uh, solid fuel stove, this is multi fuel, so take coal as well. For the eco fan on top there. And here we have uh, the main seating area is a click clack sofa bed. So that pulls out into a uh, small double and uh, has complete storage underneath uh, the full length. I think one of the main things about this boat is that uh, it's very high on storage, a lot of areas ideally suited to liverboards. We, we've lived on the boat for a number of years and, and it is ideally suited to a single person or a couple uh, rather than a, a big entertainment boat. Uh, so moving on into the kitchen here we have the breakfast bar. The surfaces are all black granite. Stainless steel sink. And um, so we have here dishwasher, slimline dishwasher. This dishwasher is brand new, never been used. 
other than uh, for trial and setup. Um, under sink cupboard, 240 volt fridge. Uh, I'm not going to go into the argument of 240 versus 12 volt <laughs> fridges, uh, but uh, I'm a fan of 240 fridges. Uh, that's another argument for another day. And uh, here we have the Thetford uh, double burner. Nice, uh, easy wipe, clean glass surface and a belling full size oven and drawers, etc. Tool cupboard. And moving on, here we have another set of stairs leading to side hatch. This side has bank access through the stairs. And unlike, um, I'm sorry, and uh, the stairs are also serve as um, storage. I don't need two hands to get into that one. I, I forgot to say the stairs at the other end um, are also complete storage under there as well. And moving forward, uh, shoe rack, coat rack, and into the bathroom. So it is an electric toilet with a holding tank. It's a very large holding tank that's sited under the bedroom and the bed. It's a Vetus electric toilet. And we have a hand basin. Up there out. That's a uh, opening cabinet. And then we have the shower in here. The shower is um, has never been used, um, so that's in brand new condition. Um, so a two-way shower with the shower head at the top and uh, these body jets on the side. And my favourite piece about the shower is the second light switch here. Turns on the fan, but also puts on extra lighting that shines through the tiles. Like I say, my favorite piece. Uh, you'll notice there's not currently a door or a curtain. Um, that's because we're still waiting delivery. It's been a little bit delayed, hopefully. It's going to be arriving in the next few days, uh, so by the time we have actual viewings there should be a nice piece of glass door in there. But like I say, uh, shower never used, completely new. Okay, here we have the um, other, the port side hatch and into the bedroom. So it's a, this is a small double, a four foot double, and uh, have storage above the bed there, new shelves. There is also um, small storage behind the bed. And the storage at the front of the bedroom. Three drawers, access under, um, just out of interest, there's the, the water pump is also accessed at the bottom of, you pull up those um, bits at the bottom to access the water pump. And then we have storage, large cupboard in here. Uh, just out of interest, these white things, these are the foam plugs. Uh, we put these in at night, keep uh, Keep the place very toasty, warm in the winter. Like I say, we've we we've lived on this twenty four seven for a number of years, and um, it's a lovely boat in winter. Very very warm. Again, these steps, just like uh, all of the steps on the boat, are complete access. And uh, here we have the bow thruster under this step. Um, there's also you wouldn't have seen it, but behind here 
we have access to the bow thruster batteries and charger. So that's the bedroom. Moving out of the bedroom and we have what we like to call the garden area with our lovely fake grass here. There's a front lockers, there's a um, water entry point and uh, the front lockers at the, at the top, that's the uh, gas locker where you'll find uh, two propane tanks. And we have our crash cover and a lovely view out into the marina. Beautiful Stratford.